In a previous video, I had said that these reproduction soldier of fortune putties would never see the light of day again. Well, it would appear that I have lied. So in this video, uh, we're looking at how original putties compare to their reproduction counterparts. And there are some differences between them, uh, many of them quite significant. So that's what we're going to look at. Now, my original putties are Second World War short putties. The only difference between these and their First World War and interwar counterparts are length. Short putties are three feet long, while um, long putties are nine feet long. Now, for you metric folk, short putties are a meter long and long putties are three meters long. So again, only difference is length. Color, materials, etc., are the exact same. Now, I had just touched on color. So let's go to color. Well, how are they different? The reproduction putties that I happen to have are Soldier of Fortune ones. So their color is, of course, different than some of the other manufacturers. But in this case, they are so much more brown. They are, they're almost like a butternut color or something like that. I don't know what exactly you would call it, but it is not the greatest. Now, I think color seems to be very hard to replicate in um, reproduction putties is because original putties are, were actually made with a combination of different colors of wool. So they would have all the different colors of wool and then they would spin them together into one yarn. So you get this very dynamic color in them. Um, it's not a green, it's not a brown. It is a combination drab color. And I'm sure for manufacturers that make them today or attempt to make them today, um, that probably is very hard to do. Um, but I, I don't know. Maybe they could do it, but that that's why I think color seems to, to be off. But the colors never seem to be close. They either have this major green hue or, or, they're, or they're brown. And I know drab colors do seem to be very hard to, to replicate because in different lightings they look like this or they look like that. So I, I'm sure that plays a part, but if you get an original pair of, of, of putties, a manufacturer I feel like could could do a lot better of a job matching color. Even if they used one kind of wool, I, I feel like they could do a lot better, but they don't. <laughs> now the next thing about um, reproduction putties that is very much annoying and frustrating is that you can't really wrap them up your leg very well. You spend five hours trying to get them to wrap up without stepping, where they go whoop, instead of, you know, having a nice smart look to them. Now, the reason I can think of why, you know, analyzing these is that they aren't very stretchy. And the reason they're not very stretchy is because they use a regular traditional weave that is used in say something like a broadcloth or a serge, um, where the fibers, excuse me, no, the threads are in a more traditional weave that go like this. Um, so that, that, that weave doesn't really allow you to stretch them very well versus um, these, the originals, um, they're more of a knit. So the best comparison that you might uh, be familiar with is say um, a regular, you know, more dress shirt. That has more of a traditional weave like that. And if you go and pull on it, it doesn't really stretch very well. Now, go try that on your t-shirt. That is a knit cotton something or other. And if you notice, it will stretch. Now, I believe that to be the same conundrum that we have here. When you go to wrap those up your leg, they stretch and kind of form to how they need to go. Now, sometimes they might look like they're felt. Well, in fact, some might be felt, but um, on these Soldier of Fortune ones, um, they're not. If you look very, very closely on them, um, there's a nap on the outside, and then you can see that, that perpendicular uh, pattern of the um, of the threads. Now I'm sure this could also be confused with uh, for a felt, um, but 
Lots of uh, serges and broadcloths actually have this snap on the outside just due to their production process, and it gives that uh, nice kind of smooth look uh, to the fabric. And then that gets us to the other point about them, is these are knit uh, to be this, 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 uh, this width. Now, these aren't. These are cut on the edge. So they're one giant strip of fabric that is then cut. So you can tell here, they're just taking probably some X long piece of, of serge and they're just cutting it down and selling it as putties. But you can't interchange some serge fabric for some knit stretchy piece of fabric because they just will not wrap correctly. There's, there's no way that's going to work. Now you can get these to hug legs decently enough, but it takes a lot of time and you're kind of trying to pull them or twisting them and doing things like that. Whereas if they were just the proper knit, there'd be no problems whatsoever. Now, there is a great market for, for putties because originals are very hard to come by and they get scarcer every year. But I imagine this is the cheapest option, but I think people would be willing to pay more if they were more dedicated you know, actual made proper two period standards. So then to use them for reenacting, you're kind of left with a predicament. Well, these, you know, for light use, it's, it's really not a problem because, you know, they're durable, you know, pieces of kit. The problem comes though when you're in a more strenuous situation where there's ditches and barbed wire and things of that nature because these will get trashed. There is no doubt about it. So, you can then use the reproductions, but then there's all those problems like we talked about, and they don't look very good. So if reproduction putties could improve drastically, it would it really help a lot of people out. So when it comes down to it, are reproduction putties absolute trash? Well, yes. Yes, they are. Goodbye, everybody. Cheers. It's the soldiers of the king, my lads. In the fight for England's glory land Of its worldwide glory land to see